By the end of this lecture, learners will be able to determine the scope of language study in linguistics. Define the main approaches to the study of language. Describe the key tenets of the approaches in the study of language. Explain the contribution of these approaches to better understand the nuances of language. Hello everybody. And welcome to the Univ English channel. If you have not been here before, then, welcome to the Univ English channel. If you're interested in learning more about linguistics, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. And also smash the notification bell. To receive notifications of when I produce more videos like this, for more information, you are invited to visit my website, english.mokerma.com. So, let's begin with this question. How can you define the major approaches to the study of language? Language is one of the most complex and fascinating phenomena that humans possess. It allows us to communicate with each other, express our thoughts, and share our experiences. The study of language is a complex and multifaceted field. In order to explore the many ways in which language can be studied, it is important to consider different approaches to the study of language. This lecture will explore some of the major approaches to studying language from different angles and perspectives by examining, language as a structure, language as mental faculty, and language as a functional resource. Scholars claim that such studies can help us better understand the nuances of language, its relationship with human nature, and its role in human society. 1. Language as a structure. Language as a structure is an important component when it comes to the study of language. This approach views language as a system that has elements that must be understood in order to comprehend how language works. It emphasizes understanding the rules and conventions by which languages operate, and examining how these can be used to create meaningful communication. By studying how words are combined into sentences and then linked together, one can gain insight into the underlying structure of a given language. The structuralist approach focuses on both syntax and semantics, two important aspects of language. The syntax looks at how words are ordered within a sentence or phrase, while semantics examines how meaning is communicated through the use of certain words or phrases. Both play an important role in understanding how different languages work and what makes them unique from each other. Aspects of language as a structure. Language has long been studied by linguists and sociologists in order to better understand its structure and functions. One important aspect of language that is often examined is its structural elements. This refers to the various components of a language that help create meaning, including grammar, syntax, pronunciation, vocabulary, morphology, and discourse structures. Language is one of the most important aspects of any society. It shapes our thoughts, defines relationships between individuals, and helps us to understand the world around us. Language as a structure embodies many features, which can be broken down into five main aspects. 1. A sound system, or phonological component. 2. A set of vocabulary items, the lexicon. 3. A grammatical system, morphology, that puts meaningful elements together into words. 4. A syntax, or set of rules to state what the order of elements is in larger utterances such as sentences. 5. A semantic component, where meanings are interpreted. Language can be described as a system of symbols or signs used to communicate meaning. Its purpose is to convey information by encoding words or phrases into sentences or paragraphs that other people can understand. To make this possible, it has specific rules regarding the order or placement of words within sentences so they make sense to readers and listeners. Through its flexibility and variability, we can express ourselves creatively using different styles and tones depending on the situation. 2. Language as mental faculty. Language is a complex mental faculty that plays an important role in everyday life. It is often considered the cornerstone of human cognition, allowing us to communicate and interact with others. Language is a powerful tool that shapes how we think and learn. 
It has the power to define both our inner world and the external world around us. As an integral part of mental faculties, language plays a major role in helping us comprehend abstract concepts, express ourselves, and interact with others. It refers to the processes involved in language production and comprehension, including memory, attention, executive control, and decision making. In addition to communication skills, language can be used as a cognitive tool for processing information. Studies have shown that those who are proficient in multiple languages have increased cognitive abilities such as problem-solving skills and creative thinking when compared with monolingual individuals. Aspects of Language as Mental Faculty Language is a vital mental faculty that serves as the basis for communication. The way people use language reveals much about their culture, beliefs, and values. It encompasses many features, which can be broken down into four main aspects. 1. Research claims that there is a strong connection between language and cognition. 2. Language is something that is innate to all humans and part of our cognition. 3. It is something that is preconditioned at us. 4. Humans have an innate ability to learn long. In addition to cognitive linguistics, psycholinguistics studies how people acquire and use language in different contexts. These researchers look at psychological factors such as memory capacity and attention span when examining how individuals learn languages. They explore the implications of various features of a language on the person's ability to comprehend it accurately. 3. Language as functional resources. Language is a functional resource that can be used to further study of language. Language functions as a bridge between humans, and it provides the foundation for communication. It is an essential tool for expressing ideas, feelings, and experiences in order to build relationships and understand one another. Furthermore, language also plays an important role in social activities such as storytelling, jokes, and debates. By analyzing discourse patterns or conversational exchanges between people we can gain insight into cultural values and beliefs held by a particular society or group of people. Additionally, studying how languages change over time reveals how different cultures interact with each other through trade or migration which may result in new dialects or even languages forming over time. Aspects of Language as Functional Resources this approach examines how language serves as a tool for interacting with the world around us. It looks at the different ways in which we use language to meet our needs, both practical ones, for example, gathering information, expressing commands, as well as expressive ones, for example, telling stories or sharing emotions. The functional resource approach also highlights how people adapt their style of speaking depending on who they are talking to or what context they are in, this helps them accomplish their goals more effectively. According to Freeman and Freeman 2014 page 12, three main aspects of this approach may be singled out, the field, the tenor, and the mode. 1. The field aspect looks at the purpose for which a language is used and the context in which it is used. It considers who the speaker or writer is communicating with, as well as what their intentions might be. 2. The tenor aspect looks at how the speakers interact with one another in terms of power and social relationships. 3. The mode aspect examines how language works as a form of communication through various media including written documents, spoken words, and body language. By considering all three aspects together when studying language, researchers can gain insight into not only what it means but also how it functions in different contexts. Conclusion Language is an intricate and complex system of communication between individuals. It serves as the primary means for people to express their ideas, opinions, feelings, and thoughts. As such, language has long been studied by linguists and sociologists in order to better understand its structure and functions. The study of language has evolved and changed over time, with different approaches to the discipline being developed. Each approach offers a unique way of understanding how language works, its development, and its use.
Thus, the study of language is a complex endeavor that requires careful consideration and exploration of the various approaches. It is an interesting field that can provide insights into how language shapes our lives and how it can be used in creative ways. As we continue to explore the complexities of language, we must remain open to new ideas and approaches so that we can discover more about this ever-evolving field.